Hello and welcome to another short video from No Blue. Today we're going to focus on the ease of changing editing KPIs, the views and the periods in which you're reporting on, particularly salient to your dashboard requirements. And then we're going to have a, a very quick look at how simply applying filters and small edits to your core reports and lists can really uh, enable some fast, dynamic and focused views of pre-existing reports without the need to constantly try and redesign and recreate reports for you know, individual and bespoke requirements. So as most of you are well aware, NetSuite is a role-based system and these are defined based on your role, your requirements and your day-to-day -day tasks. I'm going to be in as an administrator, so everything I do enables me to allow to edit. You can obviously have uh, permission restrictions and view restrictions depending on the role within the business and you may require your administrator or super user to complete these tasks on your behalf. But to start really simply, you know, you have a KPI, it might be sales driven, it might be marketing driven, it might be support case driven, but predominantly the same format applies, just the information and how it might be displayed can differ uh, and whether you're going to apply ratios rather than numerics. Um, when we look here at the custom financial ratios, it's the same principle uh, as to what we're about to show you now. So providing you have permission, we can go and use setup. We're doing this in real time as we speak. And it may be that there's a number of elements here that you know they're pretty static and there's things that perhaps I don't need to be fully aware of on a snapshot. So for example, number of cases closed, maybe the fixed assets are pretty static as well. And I'm in finance and maybe the gross leads not that important to me. It's possible that you know the period over period is interesting or the inventory versus the same day last month is interesting. But it's also you know, relevant that you may not want to look at a monthly basis. It could be a rolling half. Two years ago, last rolling quarter, last rolling year. So you start to build various dynamics within here vary the period and comparatives but again you're not static with this depending on what you want to look at, at you know this time today you can go in and edit the kpis to have a different view and you can instantly change them back or revert so if you're getting challenged by you know, somebody within the team and they want to look at a certain period comparative you can do it within minutes so now i've removed fixed assets i've removed new employees and instantly we see a sanitized view of that KPI report. So again, subject to permission, this is very simple to do. And you know, anybody who uses NetSuite in any anger would be able to go and amend this for their own view. So hopefully that makes that you know, quite clear, quite easy. Um, I get powerful information in a relevant format very quickly. What I'd like to just show you now is an item list. So you know, in this case, this is a products list, which is driven from this search result. So our search result in total brings out nearly 3000 items. There are varying types. And of course, there might be matrix, bill of materials, inventory items, non-inventory items, services. But in this particular case, if we have a quick look at the search, you know, I'll personalize the search. I'm only looking for a name and the fact that it is not empty and it is an item. From the criteria of how I want this report displaying, I'm picking you know, some key information. You can make that whatever you wish it to be. Um, you know, whether it's a stock report you want to build up and look at availability or a turnover report. And we can go quite far with additional information. If you want to highlight the report for any purpose. So maybe there's a, a stock out issue arising and anything with under the required reorder level point of stock you want it highlighting or flagging that's perfectly available and then we can look at filters so filters and segmentation within NetSuite are probably the, the two most dynamic features that give it a real USP against other systems so from a segmentation point of view we all know you can look at any report and instantly segment by class department location and subsidiary you know, people are extrapolating this information out into multiple Excel formats and trying to combine and cube that data when NetSuite has that as a, an inherent function. So if you want to add a filter to enable you to change the view of a list or a report, 
we can pick them and in this case I've picked sub item or sub department and item department and I've an, I want that to be available to be viewed and I want to have the option of multi select you can have free text you can search by date by field by you know, if it's a customer for example you might choose to search by location city or otherwise but you have full control over this you can then decide who's allowed to see this is it available in the menu system etc so at the moment we have this with the filters and we can see them filters applied here with all of the relevant fields that have been entered for these sub departments and item departments so we can look at this in here and it can become quite a powerful tool so instantly i'm looking at all of the frog 62 bikes in this particular example but even better you can apply that to a dashboard view so within here we have a list of bikes um, just a good visual example of what can be done but it might be that I want to look at the entire list of bikes so 55 has now appeared at the bottom of here it might be I don't want to look at the balance bikes so again we see a, a slight sanitization of that report and this is a very basic example of how dynamic and how clever you can be with the filters and searches um, including customer lookup and we start to look down here we see a different element of filters applied we're looking at categorization of filters so if I look at you know internal doors for example instantly it's changed my view so throughout the entire system you, you you're not having a report register or a list list register of you know 200 300 400 reports you've perhaps got 20 or 30 key reports with the right kind of filters and segmentation that drive proactive business decisions and enable you to not have to rely on external teams you know collating that data cubing the data and trying to make sense of what is in the system so i hope that's been useful please don't hesitate to reach out to us if there's more you'd like to learn or speak to your existing netsuite partner if you're already you know, are fortunate enough to be a NetSuite customer. Otherwise, we look forward to you know, entertaining you with the exciting world of NetSuite ERP on our next video. Thanks for taking the time.